introducing the epic new Swift. Time to go Swifting. It's time for our Maruti Suzuki Arena presents Safe Hands of the Day. After a dominating win for England over the United States, we look back at the first innings because no wickets fell in the chase. Deep Das Gupta with me. Couple of smart catches, Deep. Mm. There was uh, Moin Ali to dismiss Stephen Taylor. There was also Chris Jordan who had an excellent day to dismiss yeah. Harmeet Singh. Your pick for the day? Well, very tempted to go with Chris Jordan uh, more than the catch was uh, what he did with the ball. But uh, for me, I think my choice would be uh, uh, obviously uh, Sam Curran's mm -hmm. wicket, but yeah. Moin Ali's catch. Uh, that was a sharp one, uh, diving to his left wasn't the easiest of catches to be honest because obviously Steven Taylor did hit it almost out of the middle of the bat. Mm. So that flew uh, to, uh, uh, to Moin Ali who did really well. We've seen Australia put down a few in the last few games. Fielding hasn't necessarily, or catching yes. hasn't necessarily been of the highest standard by the top teams even in this tournament. Yeah. Maybe night and day games conditions. But England have been pretty good hmm. in the field. They have. I think what has actually affected the fielders, one, as you mentioned about the day and I think, I can't remember the last time we saw T20 being played during the day. So hmm. that makes a huge difference. And let's not forget, it's very bright out there. So that's one. Secondly, is, is also during the evening, we're talking about the night yeah. games, the wind factor. Mm. Uh, it's quite windy out there. We've seen it's played a huge role uh, in, in the decision of games as well. So catching hasn't been that easy uh, in these conditions. Yep, but England have done well. Thank you very much, Sudeep Das Gupta. Moin Ali then. Amaruti Suzuki Arena presents Safe Hands of the Day.